Hello everyone who's going to actually watch this. Just wanted to give a small update on my progress with this project. So the intent of it is to make a fully functional RPG game where you're the manager of a RPG group, such as Final Fantasy style or Dungeons and Dragons. So you yourself don't leave the town, you just send them on quests, they go get stuff, they come back, make the town better, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's kinda like RPG management and a little bit of city building. Show you what I have so far. <clears throat> so we can hire new people here, and the menus, of course, are all going to be much prettier towards the end. But you can name them, name Billy here. You give them strength, health, speed, intelligence. Um, everything you see should be dynamic. Meaning, if later on I want to add another stat, like I don't know, charisma, I can add it, and this will automatically respace it, respec it and add the charisma with the same up and down sliders to it. So um, right now I have the enemies targeting only the first person in the in the group. So I'm just gonna give this guy a bunch of health so he's basically gonna be the tank. No speed, no strength. And I'm also gonna give Billy some help. And Bob here. Bob's gonna be my power warrior. He's gonna have pretty good strength. It's not gonna be that fast. I don't worry about intelligence. I haven't implemented it yet in any meaningful way. And then uh, I'll have Grumples as the last one. Grumples is moderately strong, moderately fast. So, so after I hire them, I can go over here. This will be where I can send them on quest. I can send more than one group. That already works. So what I can do is just check off who I want to take and send them. Right now, there's only one place to send them, so the send button just sends them there. At that point, they're now in battle. And if you go to the detail build, you can actually see slow Billy here not doing much. Medium speed Bob hitting quite often, but a little bit harder, and then Grumple's hitting quite often, um, and hitting with a little bit less damage. The uh, attack damage ratios are infinitely scaling as well, so you get um, diminishing returns the more powerful you get versus the creature you're fighting. So a 3,000 attack stat versus a 4,000 attack stat versus a 5,000 attack stat, the difference between 3 and 4 is going to be greater than 4 and 5, if that makes sense, against the same creature. Again, diminishing returns. but always a return so it's never going to be uh, maxed out that kind of thing so you can watch them fight here you can also in the detail build there's more than one group it'd show more than one but you can see what loot they have so far right now they're not uh, bringing in much it looks like the guy that killed didn't didn't drop anything so hopefully the next one does if he doesn't that's okay uh, there's always a you know just a percent chance of a drop so I haven't set it to 100 I wanted to make sure that it worked so hopefully this guy drops a thing. No, of course he wouldn't. Well, if they were fighting and it dropped a thing, you could then recall the group, and once they get recalled and they come back to town, which will be on a timer later, once they arrive, the group, the loot will drop in the inventory. Now I just have a sample inventory. I don't feel like waiting. So I have a rusty sword, and some sandals of freed toes, some flavor tech stuff like that and again make this look nicer at the end but i finally got this working today so i can take my metal flex that i just got on my quest and i can drop them in here as soon as i drop them in here i well, actually should do it this way first notice there's no recipes but as soon as i put enough materials in here to make a recipe it'll, it searches the whole recipe list finds all available recipes with what's in here and there it is iron so i can take my metal flex and turn them into iron bars you see this little tick down. Each recipe has it's completely customizable. How long it takes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's also going to later have you can take a fighter and put him in here, and his intelligence or blacksmithy ability will speed up this process or give you better results. Um, it does not showing in the tooltips right now, but I already have the uh, items have like different levels of quality, all the way from broken to immaculate, you know, legendary. We're going to do it. So there we go. Now we have iron bars. I can put those in my inventory. It does know how to stack things. I don't have a split stack yet. Still working on that. Well, I haven't actually tried. You know, I just haven't done a right click option yet, but that shouldn't be too difficult. My move and stack. I can create creatures. I can create items. I don't know why that got stuck. Of course, everything goes wrong when you're uh, showing everybody. But you can look at your inventory here. I don't know what I'm going to put here yet. Probably. A better version of like this if you just right click on it, it'll probably bring up all the statistics for it in a big grid 
I'm planning on doing it, but we can also equip. So it notices that I have Billy Bob and Grumples, and I can go Grumples, and I can equip this, and I can't remember what these ones do. I know that this right here actually does raise the attack strength. So if I equip that to Grumples, and send them back out into the wild, it should. Figure out why that stays up sometimes with him. She should be doing more damage now, which she definitely is. She's actually matching Bob almost for damage. Which is that that rusty sword. So that's what I have so far. You can see just a bunch of work left to do, a bunch of glitches filming. What is this for? Oh, yeah, I also made it so you can sell stuff. <laughs> I forgot I made a thing. So you can plop it here, and uh, it sells it. Right now it doesn't look like it's doing it, but it actually does do it by the value. This never changes so far, so I haven't wired anything up. But dragging stuff over here does actually sell it. The money's in the inventory, but I have no way of displaying it because I don't have the money display on the inventory done. So it's there. Uh, I'm going to make it so that in-game you can craft... Uh, this will be hidden, but you if I give the game out, They'll make it so you can actually create your creatures on the fly. Uh, you can name them whatever you want. You know, yeah, mix. And the reason there's a UID here, in case that creature already exists, it actually goes by this huge uh, UID and it checks to make sure it's unique every time. And then you can you can fill out all the stats. Uh, these will obviously change as it go along, but you can fill out the resistances, which is basically the defense, and then the stats, the same as the uh, player's uh, health, strength, intelligence, speed so far. Set them up. Click save. Eventually this will turn green if you have it set so it's something usable. Same thing down here, you can add attacks like uh, Ninja Slice or something like that. It's ninja Slow like that. And vari the variance is like plus minus four when you attack. Uh, mul multiplier, uh, this would be critical, so critical chances, you know, 12% and when it does land a critical it does something like that and then you can set the type so it's based off the health and it does like wind damage so since it's ninja slice it would probably do wind damage and it would be based off its strength so the stronger the creature is uh, the more damage it does and it will do of type wind and this isn't wired up yet but this is going to be the list of previous attacks so once you actually set an attack this list will have just the, all the attacks so you can go back through and edit them again in case you added something you didn't want to you can delete it or if you want to adjust one you can just pick it and it'll pop, it'll populate here so none of these buttons work because i haven't actually wired it up yet i got distracted this morning with the inventory going going crazy well, that's our map and i don't know how those are showing up over here again yeah, as you can see, I was having problems with the inventory. I rewrote the entire inventory system because it wasn't really working well, and it still has a couple of glitches in it. Have these guys got any loot? No, I wanted to find out why loot's not dropping or not being added to the loot bin now. That's when something did the inventory. Anyways, that's more to myself. I'll talk to you guys later.